Frank and his daughter are from South Florida. I was originally born in New York, as you can probably tell, but uh, Lisa was born here in South Florida, and we've got salt in our veins. We really we've got do. to be on the water. She got it from Dad. My daughter is a really interesting, full of energy, totally caffeinated, off the charts type of a gal that knows what she likes right off the charts. Uh, Lisa's here to help me with the decision because she's a type A personality and she knows she's black and white. She's either going to love the boat or she's going to hate it. That's so great. she's going to help me. I'm a coastal guy. I don't venture that terribly far. Bahamas, though. Yeah, yeah. Bahamas, West End, shooting out there. You look at both, Dad. I'm half Italian. Next thing I know, there's a captain on board and they're untying the line. <laughs> Beautiful salon. Really spacious. Okay. Have a seat in the captain's chair. <laughs> My pleasure. But the chocks on the tender deck, they're removable and this becomes a big oh. open play deck as well. So it becomes usable space. Or the dance floor. You got a dance floor, exactly. That's funny, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> One of the things that I liked the best was the eyes and glass, that you can actually enclose the entire flybridge. Question you have, Frank? Yeah. Let me ask the all-important question. The right. owner is asking $1,750,000 for this boat. Okay. That's a bargain. <laughs> This is the second boat that I wanted to show you. This is the Azimut 70. It's been about a year and a half now, and I'm now ready to start attracting some ladies, and I think that a boat like the Azimut would really attract some eyebrows and some eyes and some gals, if you know what I mean. And then the helm. I mean, that was it for me. Staterooms? Four staterooms. I get the VIP room, and I all loved right, it. All right, all right. And the rails were really high, which is safety. So if we have smaller people yeah. or people that, you know, tend to drink uh, a little bit, it, maybe. You're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing, Dad. <laughs> so what do you think? We've looked at two different boats, two very, very different style boats. Very different style very boats. Very different. You know, you come out boat shopping and you think you're going to find, like, the perfect boat. And then you look at the features and you start to weigh them and you start to think. So it's really hard to make a decision. First boat was $1,750,000. This okay. boat is $1,700,000. I wasn't able to make a decision right away. We have to sit and talk about it, Dad. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Selling yachts. Okay, I'm thinking modern, newer, European design, okay? Half Italian, European design, and... You think, yes, it's, yes, yes. you think it's a chick magnet, right? And now, they are ready to decide. Well, they're both beautiful. They are. So let me tell you what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking modern, newer, a little bit cheaper, okay? I'm always concerned. Okay. I like a deal, okay? Stick sure. with me, hear sure. me out, okay? European design, okay? Half Italian, European design, and I know it's hard to hear this, but oh, no. my heart is throbbing for the azimuth. Oh, I knew it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? You know how much I love to fish. I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it, dreaming about it, okay? And yes, that fishing area. Oh, I saw you drooling. Bank. I saw that twinkle in your eye. Yeah, you've got the fishing area, but the azimuth is... I think Lisa probably doesn't want me to own the azimuth because it's a bit flashy and I think she thinks I want to use it to attract the ladies and she's probably not so comfortable with that. The fishing <laughs> and the eyes and glass and I think the quality and the beam and it's not that much more. It's really not that much more. Are you okay with, Let's go with Are you it. okay with the Grand Banks? That's my favorite one. Really? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's call Jeff. <laughs> All right. Do you have the Grand Banks is like in a class of its own. It's really high-end. The fishing. High end. The fishing. And women are going to love you on that boat too, Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let me daydream a little bit. The 2006 Grand Banks Aleutian 72. Asking $1.75 million. Haven't you had enough of wrestling and wrangling with those outdated garden hoses? Now, when you think metal, you think heavy, right? But not in this case. What's the number one headache with the traditional garden hose? I know what you're thinking, kinks and tangles. They are a headache. Well, forget about all that. 
because the Mighty Hose never kinks and it never tangles. With the Mighty Hose, you never ever lose pressure because of the stainless steel ring design. In fact, it's the strongest and toughest garden hose on the market. Convinced yet? Well, stay tuned to watch how we test the Mighty Hose's strength versus all the rest. And you'll find out why we call it the strongest and toughest hose on the market today. In the meantime, here's your chance to order yours. There's a lot of demand and inventory is low. So get yours while there's one left. Here's your chance to order yours. Welcome back. Today, we're taking a closer look at the Mighty Hose, the toughest and strongest yet lightweight hose on the market today. The Mighty Hose is made of a flexible stainless steel blend. I can lift a 50-foot hose with just one finger. And watch, it only weighs six pounds. If it's so light, it must be weaker, right? Wrong again. You see, this is the toughest and strongest garden hose you'll ever meet. So check this out. Make believe you're in your own backyard. You grab your garden hose, what typically happens? You try to go around a corner and the thing gets kinked up. And then if you go around a sharp object, they break and crack really fast and easy. Expandable hoses, they're not any better either. They kink up, they break really fast, and then you're throwing your money away again. Check this out. Now watch how the mighty hose goes around edges and corners effortlessly. You can't kink this hose even if you try. And sharp objects and edges, no problem. Look, strong, durable, yet lightweight. And it can even take the most extreme beating you can give it with any garden tool, like a machete, nice and sharp. Wow, that's amazing. No damage whatsoever. And now look what it does to these heavy duty garden trimmers. Wow, it bends them right out of shape. Look at that. And there's more. We ran a truck that weighs over five tons and it still maintained pressure. Mighty Hose, the toughest and lightest metal garden hose on the market. And the Mighty Hose will never, ever lose pressure. And now for the ultimate toughness test. Watch what happens when I pick up a serrated blade saw and take it to this traditional hose. Cuts through it like butter. And now the Mighty Hose. Wow, the blade just bounces right off it. Not a scratch on it. Tougher, stronger, more durable, yet lightweight. The Mighty Hose is amazing. 